Hey everyone, this is Dylan, and today I'm going to be doing a, another episode in my Masters of Horror Season 1 series. So the episode I'm doing today is Heckle's Tale. This episode aired on January 27th, 2006, so that means it's celebrating its 15th anniversary this year. It was directed by John McNaughton, star Steve Backick as Edward Rawlson, and Derek Cecil as Ernest Heckle. And this was based on a short story by Clive Barker, and it was adapted by Mick Garris, which will come into play in one of the uh, things, observations I had about this. So we start off this episode with this man who his wife has just died and he goes to somebody that people have claimed is a necromancer and he wants to know if she will help him bring his wife back. And she's like, do you really want to do this? And he's like, yes, I do. It's my one true love. And then she is like, I want to tell you a story and then we'll see if it changes your mind. So she starts telling Heckle's tale and then we go full blown into the story of Heckle. And so Ernest Heckle is a medical student in Massachusetts and you can tell that he is either an atheist or a agnostic and doesn't really believe in God or anything like that. He is more into science and he tells his instructor, uh, they're doing an autopsy and he tells the instructor that he has an idea of how to bring the dead back to life. And so then we cut to a scene where he has this body of a woman and he has all of his um, other students and also the instructor around and he has this setup very much like Dr. Frankenstein in Frankenstein where there's an electricity is supposed to come down and it's supposed to jolt this person awake or something like that. and. It ends up failing pretty badly where the electricity works, but it causes a fire and the body is set on fire. And so after this failure, Ernest Heckle is like, let's go to this local necromancer who, the best way I can just, he's a little caravan um, kind of person and I don't know, it's very much like the psychic in the Wizard of Oz, that kind of like caravan where you can uh, go into this little trailer type thing. And so we have this necromancer and he has this crowd and he brings this dog back to life and then shoots it. He says this, every time I bring something back, it uh, takes a year off of my life. And Ernest Heckle is like, tell me your secret. I want to know how to bring somebody back. Ernest Heckle is very skeptical of this guy and we really don't find too much out. We then have Ernest gets a letter saying that his dad has fallen very ill and is probably going to die. So he sets out on a trek to go visit his father and now that he is a like medical student, maybe he can help him get better or something like that. And it's a several day trip. One of the nights he spends outside of a cemetery while it's raining. While he is there, this man comes and says, you shouldn't be staying here and you can come back to my house and stay with my wife and I. So once they get back to the house, this guy is an older guy and his wife is very young and always seems kind of, something seems off about her. The husband's always bossing his wife around, saying we need more wine, and then they decide to go to sleep. But they don't really go to sleep, well, Heckle goes to sleep, but the wife and the husband do not, and the wife is like, I'm going outside, it's been over a month, and leaves to go outside, and then we hear screaming and stuff coming from the wife. We hear like some dog sounds and things like that, and... Ernest Heckle is like, what's going on? And he's like, I'm gonna go after her. And the husband's like, no, you can't do that. And what happens next is quite a surprise. So I'm gonna stop the synopsis there. So overall, this episode wasn't bad, but it wasn't good. It was a very mediocre episode until like the last 15, 20 minutes. And I guess one of the pluses for this episode would be that it, in those last 15 to 20 minutes, it kind of gave me a little bit of Hocus Pocus vibes, which if you've seen this episode, it sounds weird, but I think the prosthetics effects seem very much like 
the Hocus Pocus, and so does like the cemetery itself. Obviously not the things that are happening in the cemetery because uh, Hocus Pocus is for families and this movie is not for families. <laughs> now let's get into the things that I did not like. Overall, it's just bizarre and weird, I would say, uh, the, the last 10 to 15 minutes. I mean, it does make up a little bit for the episode as a whole, but it's just, it's so weird. Uh, I don't like that that whole episode was very boring and we didn't really get a whole lot until those last 10 to 15 minutes. But now that we've heard what I had to say about this episode, let's talk about what other people thought of this episode. On Letterboxd as a 2.7 out of 5, and on IMDb as a 6.1 out of 10. So I ended up giving this a 3. It was just very middle of the road mediocre for me and I didn't enjoy it all that much. I did think that the ending was a step up. It is a make up for the fact that this episode was just long and boring. So that is it for this review. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know in the comments down below what you thought of Heckle's Tale, whether you liked it, you didn't like it, and why. And remember, if you're not already subscribed and you'd like to be, please hit that subscribe button down below and give this video a like if you liked it. Thank you guys for watching and have a great day. Bye.